Hey guys, for this video what I want to do is show you how to create a histogram without using um, the little icon that shows up for the chart tools. Um, I It came to my attention that my students that use Macs that when you highlight this, um, the little icon doesn't show up down here, the quick analysis tool um, does not show up on the Mac. So what you're going to have to do instead is you're going to go to insert and I don't have the bar pinned down right now just so that I can um, see it. If you want to pin it down, you can, um, but just to maximize space, that's why it's not showing up. So I'm going to insert and I'm going to go to recommended charts. And for some of my students, this showed up and for some of them, it did not. But I want to select the very first one, the clustered column. The clustered column um, puts the midpoint down at the bottom and then it puts the frequency up here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this chart and click OK. And when I look at it, it doesn't fit exactly how I want it to look because I do want to make sure that it shows up where it's a histogram where there are um, no gaps in here unless there is a um, frequency of zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the design tab under the chart tools. Um, you can't see that it's kind of cut off above my screen where it says chart tools, but I'm going to click the design tab and I'm going to go to quick layouts and I'm going to select the layout where there are no gaps. Okay, and it shows you the horizontal axis title, the vertical axis title, um, the horizontal axis, the vertical axis with all the labels. And so I'm going to select that. Um, for this one, this one is my enrollment. So I would just click on the axis title and then type in enrollment. Okay, and then for the other axis, it did not register it. Sorry, let me try that again. All right, now it worked. And then for my vertical axis title, this would be the frequency. And then your chart title would just be the enrollment for universities. Okay, so with this, this is just your enrollment of your samples. This represents the midpoint of the enrollment. Um, and this is the frequency for each of the classes. Um, I did have some students that this option was not there. So when they went to insert and the recommended charts, the clustered column was not there. So if that is the case, what you are going to do, like if this, if you've already been able to create your histogram, um, your histogram, then go ahead and stop there and you don't have to continue watching. If you could not find the clustered column, um, graph because it was not miss or it was not present on yours. The other option is to highlight all of your data, um, the actual data points through 25 and then click the insert. And for this one, I'm going to click histogram. So the histogram does already have it set up where they're touching, but I want it to be formatted so that it looks the same as my enrollment one. I'm not going to fill in all of the enrollment, all of that stuff, but I do want to make sure that I show you how to do that. So I'm going to click on the design tab and under the design tab, I'm going to go to um, add chart elements and I want to add the primary horizontal. And I also want to add the primary vertical. That way I can go ahead and put in the frequency and the enrollment down here and fill this out. It still does not look the same as this. So what I want to do um, is I want to click on the chart. And if you can right click, right click, otherwise do whatever you do on the Mac to hold it down um, to right click. And you're going to go to format um, the grid lines. And so what's going to happen over here is you're going to have this um, option bar, the format bar show up and under the format bar. So the major grid line options, there's a down arrow. You're going to drop that down arrow and we're going to go to the horizontal axis. So we want to go to horizontal axis and we're going to click on the little um, axis options and we want to go to the axis op options and choose our bin width. The bin width that we want to select is the same as the class width. So the class width for this is 4,834. 
And then when I hit enter, it will automatically reformat it. And so um, if I close this axis, the format axis, we can now see that it looks roughly the same. The only difference is instead of listing the midpoints down here, it does list the lower limit to the upper limit. So either one is acceptable um, ways of drawing out your histogram. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there's additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.